In this video, I'm going to show you all the images across 100 different styles. Yes, you heard that right. 100 completely unique styles, all generated using ChatGPT's most advanced and visually impressive model to date, GPT Image 1. The results genuinely blew me away. The progress AI has made in generating images from text is astonishing and I felt I had no choice but to make this video to transparently share everything I've discovered with you. These styles were generated using a prompt I crafted based on the top 100 styles currently supported by ChatGPT. They cover everything from Dragon Ball, The Simpsons, Rick and Morty, Family Guy, to Vaporwave, Muppet Style, Medical Illustration, Data Visualization Art, and many more. Styles I guarantee many of you have never even heard of before. Now. I know many of you use the ChatGPT web app to generate images one by one, but not only is that painfully slow, the output is inconsistent. For example, even when I asked for a landscape image, ChatGPT repeatedly generated a portrait image instead. I tried this three times with the same result, even when starting a new thread, and that's despite having used that same prompt successfully to generate landscape images before. Secondly, the image quality often varies. Sometimes you get a high quality result, but other times, far too often, you end up with low quality images, which can be incredibly frustrating. With the approach I'm using, leveraging ChatGPT API plus automation, I was able to generate the entire batch of 100 styles with consistent high quality results, creating a powerful asset you can use to build a professional YouTube channel. And of course, if your footage is already strong, your editing time will be significantly reduced. I can personally guarantee that. In this video, I'll also show you exactly how I generated all the styles and prompts using just a few lines of input, and how I ended up with 200 complete images in about an hour, all without having to wait for manual generation. And if I optimize the script further for batch processing via the ChatGPT API, Generating 200 images in under 10 minutes would be totally realistic. Before we dive deeper into my Python script, let's first quickly go through the first 20 styles together. These include Surrealism, Studio Ghibli Style, Lego Style, Muppet Style, Paper Cut Collage, Origami Style, Puppet Style, South Park Style, Cyberpunk, Vaporwave, Pixel Art, Glitch Art, Synthwave, Wireframe, Botanical Illustration, Underwater Scene, Celestial Theme, Desert Mirage, Volcanic Eruption, and Aurora Borealis. All right, now if you look at the left panel, you'll see that all the image files appear here. These are the 200 images I generated using the ChatGPT API and my Python script. If you look closely at the image file names, you'll notice that I've formatted them in a sequential order and also included the style name in each file name. This makes it much easier for my team members to organize everything when creating digital product files for the members in my community. Next, you'll notice two Python script files. The first one, automatecreate.py, the one I'm currently using, is used to generate entirely new images. The second script is for generating consistent characters. If that's what you want, you'll need to use the automateedit.py script. You'll also see a file called 100styles1.json. This file contains all the prompts for the 100 styles, and it's what was used to generate the corresponding images. There's also another file called allpromptshere.json. It's working JSON file used by Python script. I'm currently working on adding 100 more styles for my community members, so both they and I can have more ideas for content creation. These new 100 styles will be added into the this file, and with simple command pi automate create, I could generate 200 images super fast and easily. And right after this, I'll show you exactly how to create a JSON file like that, and how to generate 200 or even 1000 high quality prompts, each one detailed and creative so you can use them to generate outstanding content for your projects. But before we dive deeper into how to create prompts and structure your JSON file, let's quickly go through the next 40 awesome styles together. These include Snowy Tundra, Coral Reef, Medieval Tapestry, Steampunk, Dragon's Lair, Elven Forest, Wizard's Workshop, Fairy Tale Illustration, Gothic Cathedral, Mythological Creatures, Haunted Mansion, Simpsons Style, Family Guy Style, Dragon Ball Z Style, Adventure Time Style, Rick and Morty Style, SpongeBob SquarePants Style, Looney Tunes Style, Futurama Style, Art Deco, 
brutalist architecture, gothic architecture, futuristic cityscape, Japanese ukiyo-e, Native American art, Aztec and Mayan art, Chinese ink painting, Indian Mughal miniature, fractal art, optical illusions, kaleidoscope patterns, geometric abstraction, generative art, neon glow art, tattoo flash art, graffiti street art, comic book style, children's book illustration, medical illustration, and fashion sketches. All right, first, head over to ChatGPT and type this prompt into the prompt box. Give me a curated list of the 100 most popular and high-quality visual styles for ChatGPT-generated images. The styles should reflect current trends, artistic diversity, and be widely appreciated or recognized across digital art platforms. This prompt will return a list of the best visual styles currently supported by ChatGPT. You can scale it to generate 200, 300 styles, or however many you'd like. ChatGPT has returned the results. Let's go through them together. Under Classic and Fine Art Styles, you'll find popular and visually rich styles like Impressionism, Surrealism, Baroque, and Minimalism. Under Modern and Contemporary Styles, we have Digital Painting, Low Poly, Cyberpunk, and Futurism. Next, in Portrait and Character Styles, there's Chibi Style, which is incredibly popular right now, along with Anime, Pixel Art, and Line Art. In Landscape and Environment Styles, We've got options like photorealism and fantasy landscape, plus a wide range of other creative directions such as black and white, cinematic, and one of my personal favorites, dark fantasy. All right, next let's move on to creating the JSON file directly using this prompt. Now, for each style, I want two totally different prompts. Each prompt should be at least five sentences long, with high quality and lots of creativity. Put all the prompts into a JSON file for me, which is an array of objects with two properties prompt for the image prompt, and style for the style name. It's important to define these properties clearly, because the Python script will use them to match the data correctly. And just like that, in under a minute, I already have nearly everything I need. After reading through the JSON file, I realized it was just a subset. So in the prompt box, I simply typed yes, and ChatGPT generated the full version of the file for me. If you want to automatically generate file names for the images, you can add this to the prompt. Add a file name field in the format 001 style name through 200 style name into the JSON file. Now you'll have a properly formatted JSON file with file names attached. However, to match the file name field to actual generated image file names, you might need to manually adjust the data. Or you can ask ChatGPT, right in the same thread, to generate a Python script for you that maps the file name in the JSON to the actual image files. Everything can be automated quickly with the right prompts, and ChatGPT is capable of handling the entire flow for you, from creative ideation to full script generation. All right, before we move on to the next step to run the Python script, let's first review 20 of the visual styles we'll be working with. Manga screen tone, voxel rendering, a la prima, Renaissance oil layering, low poly, isometric pixel art, stylized outline silhouettes, emissive glow layer style, duo tone palette, Acrylic pour, palette knife painting, plain air painting, lasso color blocking, stylized edge rendering, tune shader 3D, Gertie simulation, collage synthesis, grainy half tone shader, chromatic aberration FAX, digital embroidery texture, minimalist vector poster, and neon wireframe shader. All right, once I have the JSON file with all the prompts in the correct format, the final step is simple. I just copy the entire JSON content and overwrite the all prompts here.json file. Then I run the script to automatically generate all the images across the 100 visual styles. And that's it. We've successfully completed the process of automating image generation for all styles. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Or better yet, join my community where I'm putting in a lot of effort to help every member succeed in building and growing their AI content YouTube channel for the long term. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.